In this video, you're going to learn how to convert between units of inches squared and centimeters squared. And then in the second half of the video, we'll try to develop an intuitive explanation as to why the conversion works out the way that it does. So to begin, let's convert between units of inches squared and centimeters squared. Now before we can make this conversion, we need to know the linear unit relationship between the inch and the centimeter. And in a previous video, we said that one inch was exactly equal to 2.54 centimeters. This was the unit relationship between the inch and the centimeter. Notice that the unit of an inch is much larger than the unit of the centimeter. In fact, one inch is exactly 2.54 times the length of one centimeter. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this linear relationship to convert between square units. So let's begin with a simple problem. Let's begin with one inch squared. And what we want to do is we want to convert this one inch squared over to units of centimeters squared. So the first thing we need to do, just like we did when we were converting linear unit relationships, we need to multiply this unit by a conversion factor. So in this case, we're going to use the linear relationship between the inch and the centimeter to make our conversion between inches squared and squared centimeters. So in this case, I'm going to put one inch on the bottom, and then I'm going to put 2.54 centimeters on the top. Now notice, this inch squared would not cancel out with this unit of an inch. We need to square the entire conversion factor. So in this case, we're going to square the entire conversion factor. And this will work out to be one inch squared times again. We're going to square all the terms in the numerator, and then we're going to square all the terms in the denominator. So this works out to be 2.54 squared times a centimeter squared divided by 1 squared, which works out to be 1, but to demonstrate the purpose that we have to square every single term, I'm going to just square this term. And then inch squared. Now let's simplify this expression a little bit more. So this will simplify to 1 inch squared, which is the unit I'm still converting from, times 2.54 squared works out to be about 6.45 times a centimeter squared divided by one inch squared. So now the unit of inches squared in this term will cancel out with the unit of inches squared in this term. So this cancels out with this. And now we can rewrite this as one times 6.45 centimeters, which will work out to be 6.45 centimeters squared. Another way to say what we just did is that one inch squared is exactly equal to 6.45 centimeters squared. So this is the relationship between the square inch and the square centimeter. Again, notice that the unit of a square inch is much larger than the unit of the centimeter squared. It takes 6.45 squared centimeters to equal one squared inch. Now let's take a look at another problem. In this problem, let's convert between units of centimeters squared over to units of inches squared. So to do that, we're still going to multiply by a conversion factor. And in this case, we're still going to use our linear unit relationship that says that 2.54 centimeters is equal to one inch. Now notice in this case, the unit of the centimeter is on the bottom of the conversion factor and the unit of the inch is on the top of the conversion factor. And just like in the last example, we need to make sure that every single term within this conversion factor is squared. Because this is a linear conversion factor, we have to square it now so that we can cancel out the squared units. So this will work out to be one centimeter squared times, times our our conversion factor, which in this case will be one squared inch squared divided by 2.54 squared centimeters squared. And now what you should see is this unit of a centimeter squared will cancel out with this unit of a centimeter squared. And so I can now just cancel this out with that. And then what I get is one times one inch squared divided by 2.54. So this works out to be one inch squared divided by 2.54 squared, which we said was 6.45, which now works out to be 0.155 inches squared. So to summarize what we just showed, we showed that one centimeter squared was equal to 0.155 inches squared. So one of the things that you should keep in mind is the unit of a square centimeter is much smaller than the unit of a square inch. So in the last part of this video, let's just develop some intuitive insight into what we just did. So imagine you have a one inch by one inch squared object. Now if we wanted to find the area of this square, it would be area equals length times width, which in this case is one inch by one inch, or one inch times one inch, which works out to be one inch squared. Now you also know that one inch is exactly equal to 2.54 centimeters. This length, which is one inch, is also exactly equal to 2.54 centimeters. And the same is true for this height, which is not only one inch, but it's also 2.54 centimeters. So if I want to figure out the area of this square in units of centimeters, I can say that the area of this square in units of centimeters is going to be the length of it 
times the height, which will be 2.54 centimeters, times 2.54 centimeters, which works out to be 2.54 times 2.54 worked out to be 6.45 centimeter times a centimeter is a centimeter squared. So what we've just shown is that the area in terms of inches is exactly equal to the area in terms of centimeters. And in fact, we came up with our original relationship that said one inch squared was equal to 6.45 centimeters squared. Now don't memorize this relationship. Just understand how to convert between squared terms using the linear unit relationships between inches and centimeters. Now the last thing I want to say before ending this video is that we found two different numbers to express the area of this rectangle. Now remember, each number represents the same physical object, in this case, this rectangle. But in this case, they're expressed in two different units of measurements. And since the squared inch is a much larger unit than the squared centimeter, the number of squared centimeters equal to one inch will be a lot greater.